the new um, Alexia and ZP um, labs and offices. Um, so we're in Wolverhampton. So what we're going to do is um, we're outside now, but we're going to go in and we have a look at the um, office areas and the labs and talk about the facilities that we have. So ZP and more importantly Alexia, we have this um, facility in Wolverhampton. It's for supporting Europe and the UK for doing the sciences. So we're going to go inside the building and have a quick look in the lab. Okay, thanks very much. Come inside now. We're actually just looking at one of the breakout areas. So if we just come here, we've got um, quite nice areas where the um, the scientists and the engineers can come out, you know, have a coffee, have a chat, um, bring a client, bring a vendor, and have a quick chat. So, as I say, this is the. Um, we're going to go into the labs now. But the, the nice thing about the labs is that people can come out, you know, get into some natural light, and you know, and then go back in and do some. More thinking. Okay, let's go. One of the um, labs, so I'm just going to give you a quick um, inventory check. So we've got small um, centrifuges, large centrifuges, um, spectrometers, there's ovens down here, a couple of ovens running at the moment, um, large mass balance, micro balance, things like hot plate stirrers, of course, um, the microscopes, the pH sensors, the conductivity probes, um, small chamber for keeping the glassware dry, water bars. Reverse osmosis water, um, we've got steam sterilization, laminar um, flow hoods, um, most importantly for keeping the, um, the beers and stuff cold, we've also got the ice as well. So um, there's an awful lot of infrastructure in these labs and it, therefore it's easy to deliver against the programs of our customers and clients. So we're in one of the other labs now, so in here we have um, a fume hood, so this is can um, do more sort of chemical solvent type work. I'm in the lab again, shakers, um, vortexes rather, and we also have the, the balances. This one has many more decimal points, so we can do uh, much more accurate balancing. Obviously, the kind of pipettes. We are a biosensor development company, so obviously you can see the guys are busy, um, char not characterizing, but actually functionalizing these sensors. Obviously, the analytical glassware that you would expect so that we can accurately make uh, up solutions. We use the HPLC in, there's a chili sensor on the market, this is part of what we use for validation, but if we're going to do an assay development, it's good to do it electrochemically and it's good to do it by another methodology and that's why we have the HPLC as well. Obviously there's freezers and fridges in here for the various uh, biologies. Over here at the moment we're doing um, uh, electrochemical assay development, um, so that's we're just in the middle of um, completing that now. So this is, as I say, one of the other labs you get a sense that you know this is a well-equipped um, center for doing um, assay development of electrochemical biosensors and medical diagnostics. If you've got any questions, um, I'm going to put some contact details for Alexia and Zimmer Peacock, and we'll be delighted to hear from you. Okay, thanks very much.